One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. Fields it right around the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. And they have work to do in the second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. From the 31, Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. He's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They will get 15 more on top of this. So roughing the passer penalty, never one that you like to see. Not at all, and especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around. And we know they'll be here before you know it. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Going on the ground with Eckler. And he'll get this down only to the 18. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That's caught right side by Palmer. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in this AFC title game. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just haven't been able to punch it in until that point. They're going to try and run. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. So that effort gives them a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Peoples-Jones going to elect not to run this out, and they'll begin at the 25. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. And, Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just letting our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go for doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. On second and 11 now. Watson fighting Hilton on the slant. 
And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, like so many wide receivers, he is a threat with the ball in his hands, and he's able to do his damage here after the catch. Yeah, and this is what we mean when we talk about flipping the field, having your offense look at going a long way to a short way after he makes a play. His ability to do that, evident. Able to make the catch there, keep his momentum going, and just continue downfield. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And they'll get to him just inside the 15 even after that strong run we witnessed. Throwing on second and eight. Watson over the middle into traffic and that's complete. Watson on third down. Touchdown, Browns! Kareem Hunt, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Browns have retaken a third quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. York now for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. The Browns' kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The attention shifts back to Justin Herbert and the Chargers offense. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. That throw into the arms of Allen. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Give him another one right back to Allen. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think a guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something, and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. Eckler now between the tackles. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 35-yard line. Once more, here's Eckler. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Herbert. Ebron caught left side. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 25-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward.
Running on first down, Eckler. 59 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The last run got six, now second and four. A shotgun snap for Herbert. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. I'll tell you what, this offense has been a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possess the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Here's Herbert. And that's into the hands of Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers! From six yards away. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And that one gives them a three-point lead. A 10-play drive that time. And Austin Eckler capped it off with the touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The Browns set to take over. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a handoff. Hunt's going to run left. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. Stadium in Inglewood. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. For it. Here's Chubb, and he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I don't like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it up. A fourth quarter miss like that, there is no lonelier feeling than that kicker right now. As we all know, a lot of these games, they come down to special teams. And when that chance comes, you have to perform in order to help your team get over the top. Could have tied it. Instead, they remain down three. The Chargers getting set to go. And 
right now they're just looking for a little more cushion, trying to make this a two-score game. Points here would go a long way, obviously, to propelling them into the next round. And this is where the head coach, offense coordinator, they've had to set a tone all year long about what they do on offense. So most teams want to stay in attack mode, but you have to do it with some bit of caution, don't you? Because you can't come away with no points. You need these points here in order to feel a lot better about where they are in this game. But this time of the year, playoffs, game of this magnitude, this is what we hope for. Yeah, it's exactly what we hope for. You want to run your offense cautiously, but not so cautiously that you just give it up. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second down, Eckler. And he'll take this one down to the 36. The offense on third down tonight. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, Herbert. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Dustin Hopkins on for the field goal. A 53 yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And that will keep this a three point game. Maybe an important fourth quarter miss as this stays a three-point game. Yeah, now overtime is very much in the equation here. Just what you mentioned, a three-point game. They get a drive, put it through the post. We could have some free football, couldn't we? Amari Cooper and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. From the 50, it's Watson. Complete to Hilton. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Faking the give, now Watson. Oh no, he lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they are going to score on a football return. Touchdown, Allen. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. On his Hopkins now for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football. We witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Peoples-Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Browns offense trotting back on the field. And their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and ten. Back to throw, Watson. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. Here's second and five now from the 22. Watson. His throw incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. They set up the screen to Chubb, and it's not going to be enough here. A game of four, about two feet short of the marker, fourth down. 
Yeah, and on third down, you know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play for us fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. It'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And out will come the offense as they take over. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And the pieces have fallen into place to this point. They've got a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. A berth to the Super Bowl resting on their ability to see this one through to the end. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. On second and seven, Herbert. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Herbert now. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. I and mean, what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. The York on now for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead. Play action. It's Herbert. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. On first down, it's Herbert. Now left, he's got it to Everett. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. Herbert throwing again. He'll get this to Eckler, and he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone. You bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 86 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. 
I think defensively, you got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. On first and ten, Herbert to the right side to Eric Ebron. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Up the middle with Eckler. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game-sealing touchdown. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Try to punch it in with Eckler. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Hopkins kick is good and that will double their lead as it's up to six. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room but not much and you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two score game right now if he had converted them. And if you and I are thinking about it you know he is as well because in the back of his mind he's thinking I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. More from L.A. in a moment. The Browns drive about to get started. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Into the hands of Cooper, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Watch it. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw. Watson. And incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Watson to throw. And a comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off so here's a first and 10 at the 38 victory formation time for the Chargers they take a knee they will take a knee here and cue the celebrations they are off to the Super Bowl champions and on to the Super Bowl they go. It's got to be an amazing feeling for them, doesn't it, Brandon? The idea that you've done it all, all that hard work, all that sweating, all that effort, 
all those times you were getting yelled at by your coach, and now you get to go to the Super Bowl. Put your hats on, guys, and say AFC champs. Thank mm -hmm. you.